Hi, I'm going to do a little video today on hand washing, which um, is a pain. It, it's something we don't do very often because most of the clothes now do go in the machine, but occasionally you get a lovely jumper like this one here. And it does say quite specifically cool hand wash. And the reason it says that is because sometimes if it's sitting in the water in the washing machine for too long or if the water's too hot, it shrinks the fibres. And it's such a beautiful jumper that it's sometimes a bit worrying to, to pop it into the machine. However, today a lot of the machines do have settings on there for woolens, and I do know that sometimes that works out quite well. However, my machine's quite old, and my woolen set is 40 degrees, and that would be too hot for it. So just have a look. My daughter's washing machine's much better. Her woolen or hand wash setting is 30 degrees or 20 degrees. That's better because you're saying hand hot because you don't want to, you can't put your hand in it and it's not too hot. So you know you're not going to shrink the fibres. So if you do decide to take a chance on your washing machine, have it on the lowest setting and the shortest spin. All right, but if you decide you're going to give it a wash because this is brand new and I don't want to take any chances with the machine. You're going to have your water, pop your, your dyes or whatever it is that you use, whatever you, you know, soap powder you use, and as I say, that's hand hot. And then you very gently, you just sort of immerse that in there. And then you just very, you can see the dirt coming out of that. It's quite grubby because we keep leaving it because we can't be bothered to try and wash it. And you're just very, very gently just going to be almost squeezing the dirt out. All right, now don't leave it, leave it in there at all. You just very gently, you can see all of that coming out of there. Shows you how bad it is. If you've got any little marks, very, very gently take the edge of your cuff. It might be grubby. Just very gently, but don't over rub it, otherwise you're going to end up spoiling, spoiling your top or your jumper, whatever it is. And just round the neck sometimes gets a bit worse. So now that's going to come out. I'm just going to squeeze it. Okay, and then I'm going to rinse it. So we have our water again, it's not too hot, otherwise at hand hot, that's the key. All right, and then you're just gonna gently squeeze out the soap powder. You can see all the dirt coming out, and then again, just take it out, and then you're gonna rinse it again. You can see how dirty it is. Righty ho, so now we've got our water again, hand temperature, and we're just gonna very, very, Carefully just squeeze out and get rid of any surplus mucky water. Okay, last rinse. And you can see now that that water is running clear. Okay, so just adding a little bit of fabric conditioner, just enough to soften it. Otherwise, the water can make it quite hard. And we're going to put the same amount of water in and then gently rinse it through the fabric conditioner. Okay, now I'm just going to very gently squeeze that through and then that lovely fragrance is going into the jumper and softening and making it less static because of the fabric conditioner. So just very gently do that. But again, don't leave it sitting in there. It's absorbed that water and that lovely fragrance. So now I'm going to take it out and I'm just going to squeeze it. I'm just going to pull it. Whatever you do, don't wring it because otherwise that's going to muck up all the fibres and cause them all to go crooked. So you're just going to gently squeeze that water out. Right, now this has got a lot of water in it. Now they do say in here on the instructions to lay it flat. I've yet to find a way of laying that flat. And, it not, and where do you put it? I mean in this day and age we've got our radiators. You hang it up, it's going to stretch. You pop it on the radiator, it's going to drip water everywhere. What, when you've got something that's, um, that's a lighter fabric, yeah, you can pop it on a hanger and drip dry, and it's perfect to pop it out in the garden or on the line or over the bath. You can do that with this, but just be very careful with anything like this because it will stretch, okay, and then you're going to lose that lovely shape. What I do is I pop it in my washing machine on a very, very short spin. So I pop it in there. And then close the door, and then I've got a very large short spin. So I know that that's delicate and a short spin. So I've set it up ready here, and that's what I'm about to do now. Put it on a very short spin. Okay, so it's had a short spin. It's still got a lot of water in it. It's still quite heavy. 
So what I wouldn't do, I wouldn't recommend that you get your clothes horse and peg it up because for a start, you're going to get those awful peg marks in it. And can you see the shape? It's just going to be all out of shape. So don't do that. I wouldn't recommend either that you drape it across because what's going to happen is this mark here is going to run through the back of the jumper and make it look pretty awful. Some, they say to lay it flat. You could get yourself a towel or something that's light so no colour runs out of that into what you're drying and you could dry it flat like they suggest. But how long is that going to take to dry? I think that's a pretty nightmare. If you have only got a clothes horse and you haven't got any radiators what you could do is you could pad out your bar here and then hang it over so you don't get that ridge running through it but you will still want to stretch slightly so just be careful and I would hang it if you were going to do that I'd put it so that it was kind of there so the weight of this isn't too heavy bearing that it's almost like you find the center of balance personally I'd rather pop it on the radiator that I've turned down with the stats if you've got radiators like this with the ridge across again I would put a towel across it so that it softens these edges if you've got the edges with the round radiator, the curve radiator, they're the best one. So here's our radiator, it's got a nice curve, I've got a stat on it, so I've turned it down so it's not going to get a blasting heat on it. You don't want it too hot, otherwise again you're going to damage the fibres. You can dry it like that, alright, but I'd personally be inclined to get as much of the weight of it as I can, and I'd be inclined to dry it across like that and then just take the weight out of these arms by popping them up on the radiator and then turning it over. So I hope that's of some use to you. We've got some amazing clothes in this day and age and they cost a lot of money and sometimes they are just hand washed. So very, very good delicate on the washing machine. The newer models of washing machines are great. If you're like me and you've got an old one, that's the way around it. So I hope that's been of some help to you. So for any of our videos, please tune in to Derriton 33. Thank you.